Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and set up Mobox emulator on MediaTek Exynos smartphones with Mali GPUs. Recently, we did a video, but mostly focused on Snapdragon users. What about others? This video will definitely help you. So let's start the video. So this is the official GitHub page. Just scroll down, you will find three APK files. Download and install them. After that, get back to page. Here you can see there is a command code. Copy it. Now open Termux app. Paste the code and enter. The installation process usually takes around 10 to 12 minutes based on phone performance. For me, it usually takes almost like 20 minutes. As this phone is based on five-year-old Exynos chip, which is pretty old, equal to a Snapdragon 665 or uh, something. Okay, anyways, wait for it. Meanwhile, I will have some coffee and get back to you again. Finally, it's done. Now type command Mobox. We are now on Mobox interface. Now go to Termux X11 app, set its preferences. Here choose display resolution to exact, set display resolution based on your device. Lower is better. Enable stretch to fit display, enable full screen on device display. Scroll down here, turn off additional keyboard. Now get back to Termux application, start wine. The first boot usually takes around two to five minutes for setting up drivers. So guys, finally, we are on Mobox emulator interface. Here go to start, select install, choose Mesa Vir GL 24.0. You can also choose Vir GL version based on compatibility. On above, you can see the option as D3D not installed. Here choose Wine 3D. Make a note that DXVK Turnip is only for Snapdragon. That's it, we are now ready. Now go to D Drive, which is indicated as download folder on Android storage. Here you need to import your Windows games to your phone or install your favorite PC games. Here I'm installing some of games. Don't expect bigger games like GTA 5 or God of War because Mali GPU usually lacks in drivers, but still some of them may run. Also keep in mind, lowering the resolution can boost performance of phone so that you can avoid crash errors. That's it for today's video, guys. So please like, share, and subscribe for more interesting stuff. Thank you, guys. See you in the next one.